Well, House Republicans are moving ahead with an impeachment inquiry investigating alleged wrongdoing by President Biden and his son. Now, as you know, Hunter Biden failed to appear for that closed door deposition this week, defying a subpoena from the House Oversight Committee. Now Republicans are vowing to move forward with contempt of Congress proceedings. The White House has been critical of the investigation, calling it baseless and politically motivated ahead of the upcoming presidential election. Joining us now is Republican Representative Gary Palmer of Alabama, member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me on, Marky. My first question to you, just for starters, so what comes next now? You know, how does the authorization of an impeachment inquiry affect the Oversight Committee's ongoing investigation here? Well, I think it will open up um, a whole new avenue for us to, to investigate in terms of getting access to documents that we otherwise wouldn't be able to uh, get our hands on. Um, and I think that's the proper course to take. I, I, I'm a firm believer in due process. And I think that, that we ought to go where the evidence leads us. And the evidence has led us to the uh, impeachment inquiry. Yeah. You know, we'll see what goes from here. And speaking of evidence and documents you haven't been able to uh, previously get your hands on, Republicans say they have all this evidence against the Biden family. You have House members like Speaker Mike Johnson, who just penned that op-ed this week, laying out all the evidence he says there is against the president, his family, them taking in $15 million, 22 different incidents of the president talking to these foreign uh, you know, business companies. Democratic lawmakers have a different side of the story. They say Republicans have yet to provide a shred of evidence of wrongdoing. The president also denying evidence every time he's lobbed a question about it. Uh, sir, to, I think to regular everyday American people, it seems like there's either evidence or there's not. What's the disconnect here? Well, I think it's pretty obvious if there was no evidence, there would, would have been no reason for President Biden to lie continually about his uh, knowledge of what uh, Hunter Biden was doing, his involvement uh, with Hunter Biden, his interaction with Hunter Biden and his business associates and the people he was involved with in terms of uh, uh, foreign uh, uh, dignitaries and, and business people. So if, if there was nothing to see there, there would have been no reason to lie about it. And, and they've repeatedly lied about it. As it pertains to Hunter Biden, you know, we all watched earlier this week when he stepped up to that lectern at the steps of the Capitol, refused to participate in that closed door deposition. Representatives Jim Jordan, James Comer, uh, you know, promised early on to hold him in contempt of Congress if he did that very thing. I, the other thing I was thinking, my question to you, was this part of the plan, sir? You know, you force him into a closed door deposition, which you know he's probably not going to show up for. You threaten being held in contempt of Congress and know that's likely another stain on him in the White House. Was that part of the plan? Because it seems like six months ago, if Hunter Biden had said, I'll testify publicly, every Republican would have taken him up on that offer. Well, he he needs to be deposed and that's um that's an opportunity for him to explain his side of the thing without the the glare of the tv lights and and cameras and he had a, an opportunity to do that with his lawyer at a minimum he could have come in and taken the fifth on every question but he didn't and and in terms of uh, contempt of congress i think what he did was he showed contempt of the american people I honestly believe they think the American people are too dumb to understand what's going on here. Uh, but if the polls are any indication, they're not fooling anyone. Do you think this is all my last question for you? Do you think all of this is headed? This inquiry will eventually be headed to voting on articles of impeachment? I don't know, uh, Marky. I, I, I said this in every situation that we've been in and every investigation that we've done. We need to go where the evidence leads us. I, I don't believe in, in political prosecutions. I think that's wrong. I thought what they did to President Trump was a travesty and, and will be a dark mark in, in America's history. You should only go where the evidence leads you. All right. Heard you loud and clear. Representative Gary Palmer, thank you for your time this morning. We will see where this all heads. Thank you. Thank you, Marky.